What is up guys welcome back to the channel uh, we got a little bit of a new toy in the shop if you can kind of see a hint behind me right there uh, we picked up a MiG 180 from Prime Weld we've had really good luck with their TIG welder uh, been making lots and lots of stuff with the TIG welder just like these uh, aluminum ramps right here made those for a side by side um, I went ahead and dropped some money got this uh, MiG 180 I'm pretty excited to try it it looks like a pretty good unit had great reviews just like the other one and of course it's backed by their three-year warranty and uh, so I'm excited to try it it came with a spool gun and other stuff I've never tried a spool gun and so I'm gonna try that first before I hook up and feed the wire through uh, the normal stinger and everything like that of course packaged really well just like the other unit uh, I did open this as already as you can tell but um, this is a regulator I believe in this box or that box let me open this so I don't lie to you oh, regulator I don't use the regulators from Prime Weld I had issues on uh, my other one and I've switched to using uh, really nice name brand ones and that's no problem there the fake mask thing of course you get your electrode holder if you want to do some stick welding with it but this is a Tweco style torch pretty looks pretty decent the button feels pretty nice I opened it just to play with it real quick but uh, looks pretty decent honestly and then of course your ground the 110 adapter the spool gun and it did come with a spool of ER 76 S6 yep and then whatever's in the spool gun I'm guessing 4043 I don't know but I'm gonna hook the spool up, gun up real quick and we're gonna give it a try I've never tried a spool gun like I said so I'm curious to try it but uh, I'll unpackage the welder itself how they hook the spool gun up and switch between the two is a little weird so if you're planning to switch back and forth um, a lot it might get annoying for TIG welding aluminum I, I TIG weld aluminum so I'm not real concerned about using a spool gun a lot but I do want to try it so after we try that, we'll hook this up and feed it and give that a go as well. Okay, so I've got it just sitting on a bench here. Ran to my argon bottle through my Victor regulator. Uh, inside this panel right here, where the wire goes, uh, gives you a chart and how to set up everything. So I got it going electrode positive, grounds on negative for going through the spool gun is what it says and I was right. It is 4043 and it's 0.9 millimeter is what they send, which I think is 035. Um, let's check, I think this chart. They give you this nice chart and from what I was reading online, their numbers and speeds and amps and all that kind of stuff are actually pretty close. Just kind of fine tune it for how you like to run. I always ran a little hot, so, but I'm gonna start with this on the aluminum stuff because obviously I've never messed with it. So anyway, uh, electrode positive um, yep 035.9035 so I'm gonna finish hooking this up we'll get it ran and I just have a couple coupons run some flat beads and then we'll try to do something see what happens um, one thing that prime Weld does really great is they have manuals for everything and they are actually very detailed manuals I always like that these are good I skimmed through this real quick just to make sure I wasn't doing something weird and wrong and uh, we look okay so I always hang on to these I'm sure they have them on their website as well so let me hook this up Alright guys, so one thing I will point out real quick, when you are running a spool gun uh, with this machine under the flap where the wire goes, there is a toggle switch in there that you do have to switch between either MIG torch or the spool gun. So you got to make sure it's selected to the spool gun for it to work and I'm sure what it's doing is it's changing the signal outputs to tell it that uh, not to run this motor but to give power to the uh, motor inside this bad boy right here to make it work. Basically the whole purpose of a spool gun is instead of running very soft wire through 10 or 15 or 20 feet of 
uh, liner and hose in this, you only get you know seven eight inches. It is possible to run aluminum through a standard stinger uh, wire, but you'd have to keep it very very straight, and it may or may not be as good. But a spool gun generally is a lot easier, and it does work better with aluminum. So here's that switch I was talking about. You can kind of see the pictures. Switch that. Just a wing nut that holds in uh, the electrode end, whatever you want to call it, I don't know. Messing with the spool gun is kind of interesting. It's very dirty. And that might be, some of that might be the quality of the aluminum filler they send you with. I'm not, I'm betting it's not great. It's definitely got some crap in it. Uh, I definitely didn't clean the plates either. Let's see if it'll focus. This was my first attempt to kind of do a weave with it. Just on a fillet. Doesn't seem too bad. I mean, it's not as pretty as a TIG weld, but it's seems strong it kind of melted into the plate more it's probably too hot or I wasn't moving fast enough on this other side I was trying to melt it kind of dirty and then I just went straight shot it I mean not too bad I guess I don't know it might be worth someday playing with it a little more I already welded together everything I'm planning to for the next little while with aluminum anyway and honestly I really like TIG welding so I'll probably just TIG weld everything aluminum anyway but MIG for what I'm doing uh, is going to be way faster and it's also really nice to have the MIG welder around not just for making signs and all that other stuff that I do uh, on the side but uh, for the next program or Yeah, a little bit of playing with it. They don't look too bad. I used their suggested settings and kind of went from there. I might keep playing with it. I was running pretty low gas and that's pure CO2 so uh, 75, 25 would probably make a little nicer weld. But not too bad. Good so far. We'll see. Keep playing with it and messing with it and see what we can come up with but I think it'll work pretty well hey guys we're just out in the shop here chatting about the mig 180 from prime weld i actually want to talk to you because uh, again i'm filming a ending to a video i previously filmed uh with that mig 180 that's in the first part of this video i actually had a problem with it um it would trip the hot over temp almost right away maybe 30 seconds into welding it would do it every time and i called prime weld like two days after I got the unit and I was like hey guys this is the problem I'm having I can't get it to fix it's running off 220 everything looks good my 220 voltage is rock solid no weird dips or anything they're like huh it's a super strange issue we will ship you out a new unit today with a return label for you to ship the old unit back so guys that warranty does work really well from prime weld I have nothing but good things to say about them and this new unit that they sent me I've had for three four months now and had no problems the first day that I got it 
uh, as soon as I got it back to the house I went ahead and I ran it through its paces I maxed it out I ran a ton of bees just over and over again just to see if I could get the hot trip to come on or have any issues with it and nothing no problem at all and uh, now that I've had it for four months you can actually see it on the ground I ran it out of a 10 pound spool working on uh, ramp stuff you can see that big pile of steel that was on the floor in the last video is gone that's in a project and of course I lost the footage for that but we will talk about that in a different video anyway prime weld mig 180 it's been great since then I need to re-spool it uh, it's had two bottles of little gas I should probably have bought a big bottle for this unit but uh, uh, eventually next project for this is to make a nice um, double stand for both these prime welds so I can sit on one nice roll around cart with everything I need but honestly guys for the price $500 for this it is incredibly hard to beat that um, their warranty like I said great great deal um, it welds really nice uh, sometimes it runs a little cold um, this is actually what I was working on during that you can see the little make welds just holding that together but uh, works pretty well I run it quite a bit hotter than uh, what their sheet says on the inside, but honestly guys, if you're in the market for a MIG welder and you don't want to break the bank because you're just starting to get into welding or whatever, these prime welds are hard to beat, man. Just absolutely hard to beat for the price. I would absolutely suggest them to anyone. Um, is it is a nice MIG welder? Is the big Miller Maddox and the nice Miller suitcase welders we have at work? No. But I mean they are a fifth the cost of those welders so I mean they're not even really comparable but uh, yeah check these out if you guys are interested man I I love it works great for that the house it does what I needed to do but uh, thanks for checking out the video guys and I hope if you're in the market for one of these that you go ahead and buy it guys it's 500 bucks it's an easy way to get into a nice little MIG welder that'll do a ton of stuff for you but talk to you later